The arrogance of the rich with his wealth and belittling the poor deserves punishment from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala just as it happened or occurred with the story of the one who had two gardens whom Allah provided with two beautiful gardens containing grapes surrounded by palm trees rivers flowing through them growing with them vegetation and fruits however disbelief in Allah and turning away from his favors and being proud with one's wealth and the amount of children and strength one had over the poor increased this person in their deception and also their perception that the gardens will never be ruined due to the many trees and continuous water supply. So he depended on the dunya, the worldly life that is going to perish and denied the hereafter which will remain. Whilst thinking Allah gives him wealth because he loves him. And wealth isn't a proof of Allah's love for his slave. So he looked down upon his righteous friend, being upon disbelief of Allah, the one who created him and gave him shape. His righteous friend urged him to be grateful to Allah for his bounties instead of being deceived and warned him that if he continues to turn away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the gardens would be destroyed by destructive rain that would uproot the trees, removing the plants and turning the land barren so it couldn't bear vegetation, or that the water would sink deep, making it impossible to attain. And that which he had warned him of had occurred, and a disbeliever was left devastated upon seeing the destruction of his wealth and regretful for his disbelief. And this is due to his shirk that he had committed in the past. But after the passing of time, it didn't benefit the person. He didn't stray further from the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rather, we cannot rule out from Allah's mercy and his compassion that his condition became better and Allah provided him with returning back, turning back to Allah so that his regret would permit him to believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone and seek his forgiveness. And then he would then take benefit from the admonishment of his believing companion. So from this, we learn that it's important for the believer to seek and strive to have good companionships of the believers as it will benefit a person in this life and in the hereafter and the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he mentioned a person is upon the religion of their close friend so look to whom you take as your close friend